What's up, everybody? Here's a video of um capper I bought myself for Christmas. I just couldn't help it. They were so many good deals, and I don't know. I've just always looked at the capra and always wanted one. I mean, as many of you know that watch my videos, I pretty much, you know, only like to, uh, I shouldn't say only, I love trailing, scaling, I love all of it, but I tend to just kind of end up rock crawling. Part of that's just where I live, like this right here is right in my backyard. See, my house is literally right, you know, within 100 yards of that. Um, tons of sticks down in this video from uh, the big storm we just got. I haven't cleaned up my trails yet. But, you know, the Capra it is pretty freaking sweet. Um, uh, I can see why I kind of always wanted one ever since they first came out. Um, it is just nice. It rolls nice. Um, it's got great steering. I mean, I love the portals. I mean, all the things that everybody knows about it. Um, I will say in this video, the big thing holding it back is the tires. Um, the stock tires that come on it are not good. They're stiff. Um, and I don't know, almost like hard rubbery. They felt a little sticky when they first came out, but they really have very, very little grip. Um, I've only really run it in um, somewhat wet conditions, but still, it is just not, not good tires. Um, but like the electronics, super impressed, honestly. It just has some pretty nice speed. Um, servo has pretty good um, amount of power. A lot of these lines, like this right here, pretty tough lines. I mean, the Enduro, Sendero, which I never ran stock with stock tires, um, you know, would flip over on these lines. Whereas this Capra is the wheels are what's holding it back, not its um, super high center of gravity, which I find with other stock rigs that I run. Um, I, mean, I love the portals. I've never had a rig with portals. It just slides right over stuff, which is uh, super cool. Um, and part of the reason I haven't made any videos or talked or done a lot of uh, fancy editing at all, not that my editing's ever fancy, I just, uh, my phone is just so full and uh, I'm not good at tech stuff and I'm always busy with work and all these other things and it's hard for me to uh, take the time to fix, but I went through and made some more space on my phone so I can actually put a video and put a voice to it do some stuff like that which is it's fun i like to talk and uh, say hi to everybody when i can shout out to all y'all i really really appreciate all the support it's crazy me how many you know quality friends and people i've made out there it feels like on um youtube chatting about rc's some really good genuine people um and i wish that uh had some dry rocks but you know, I think this is probably the last time I run this thing stock. I'm gonna just start, you know, tires gotta come off. You know, I can't decide. Maybe somebody can add in the comment whether to keep this thing like this or just completely strip it down and put it on a, a G-Speed or a carbon or some type of LCD rig. But I do see that most of the dudes who have <clears throat> nice, nice, um, LCG builds and run like also have a Capra that is pimped out. So, you know, part of me is tempted to get the Vader skid, flat skid, um, add the weight, do that stuff. Um, the dig is super cool. I use it a couple times in this video. Get down over stuff. Um, and it kind of has a nice little pep to it, too. Not that, uh, you know, that surprised me, but a little bit. Like, it actually felt pretty nice under speed. It's it's a nice rig. I like I like the links and all that stuff about it as well. Um, the light bar, if you might notice, came not working good. And shout out to A-Main. They instantly sent me a new one, which was sweet. 
Um, but yeah, all right. Shout out, y'all. Have a good day and uh, happy new year. Bye. Lots of trees down here.